Hey there, fellow creators. Have you ever wanted to make your outdoor scenes more immersive by adding realistic wind effects to your trees and foliage? Well, have no fear, because today I'm going to show you how to do just that using a simple blueprint in Unreal Engine. But we're not just going to stop there. We'll also be exploring some creative ways to make your wind effects even more realistic and dynamic. So stick around until the end to learn all of my tips and tricks. So let's get started and bring some life to those trees. All right, I have added these trees from Unreal Engine's marketplace and this package is called European Hornbeam and it's free and it is supported by Unreal Engine 5.0 and 5.1 versions and all you need to do is to download it and add it to one of your project which I've already did that and after adding to your project a new folder will appear here the European Hornbeam and in the geometry folder we have two folders here Pivot Painter and Simple Wind the Pivot Painter contains the meshes and geometries which are so compatible with the complicated wind effects but with the meshes and the geometries which are in the simple wind folder we can add just simple wind effect as its name indicates so I'm going to add the geometries which are in the pivot painter folder to my scene so let's double click on it and as you can see I have used just three of them three of these meshes in my scene and they're right here you can see them obviously and in order to add wind effect to these trees I'm going to open this folder called MS presets and after that here we have another one called MS foliage material and in that one here we have the global foliage actor folder and this is the blueprint that we were looking for so I'm going to add this blueprint to somewhere in my scene and I have already added so let me just let's just eject from the camera view and here this is the blueprint that I was talking about and let's just I think I have to delete it and let's add it again so we won't have any problems and I think I it's better to move it to somewhere to have better control on it because I want to show you something important on this icon here let's just move it like this and yes it's okay right now but before we continue I want to show you something important on this icon here and the first one is this flag over here which indicates the power and strength of the wind and the behavior of the wind and this blue arrow here indicates the direction of the wind which in this case we have the wind direction from this side to that side from upside to downside and if I'm going to check this flip wind direction you can see that we have flipped the direction of the wind and this flag shows the direction and if I'm going to rotate this icon we can rotate the wind direction so we have now the direction of the wind from left to right and the first parameter that we are going to cover is wind noise and this parameter determines the amount of noise applied to the wind effect essentially it controls how random and chaotic the wind appears to be and I think it's better to change the viewport to the camera so you could better understand what's going on with the parameters of this blueprint and the second parameter that we're going to cover is wind strength and this parameter controls the overall strength of the wind effect increasing the value of this parameter will make the trees and foliage move more vigorously while decreasing it will make them move less and I think it's better to rotate the wind direction to something like from right to left side so we can have more realistic effects and here we have the wind speed parameter 
which determines the speed at which the wind effect moves across the scene. It essentially controls how quickly the trees and foliage respond to the wind. And let me just decrease the wind noise. And yes, I think it's better now. A bit more. And let's increase the wind strength. And you can see that we have a dynamic and realistic effect. And finally, the wind tiling. This parameter determines how the wind effect is tiled across the surface of the foliage. It controls the size and scale of the wind effect pattern. And incorporating wind effects into your animations and scenes can greatly enhance the overall realism and visual appeal. With the Global Foliage Actor Blueprint in Unreal Engine, you have access to a variety of wind parameters that can be easily adjusted to fit your specific needs. Whether you're creating a serene outdoor environment or an action-packed scene with dynamic movement, adding wind effects can bring your vision to life. So don't be afraid to experiment and see how the power of wind can take your projects to the next level.